Welcome to a brand new week and today we start a new study from the book of 1st John. The book of 1st John is very important to the New Testament because it was written at a time when a lot of people have come to the Christian faith and after they heard so much about Jesus, people are wondering whether Jesus was real. Did he exist? Uh, because the stories about him were quite outstanding. And so John, who was present at the time of Jesus and is now an old man but alive, is talking to the early Christians about why they believe Jesus was who he said he was. So he starts in 1 John chapter 1, verse 1. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled concerning the word of life. John says Jesus was from the beginning. And there are two ideas from that. First, uh, it establishes the deity of Christ. He was the beginning of creation, or he was at the beginning of creation. And then it also uh, talks about the beginning of his earthly ministry, that which was from the beginning. And John presents Jesus Christ as the word of life. The word of life is a concept. But then John begins to say it wasn't just a concept because he talks about four things that happen to the word of life. First, he says, we heard him. So he was a word of life. We heard Jesus Christ. We heard him in the public square. We heard him teaching. We heard him speaking. Our ears heard him. And we also heard him using words to do signs and wonders. He could use words to stop a storm to heal the sick and to raise the dead. We heard it. Secondly, he said, we saw it. The disciples of Jesus Christ saw him. They didn't just hear him, they saw him. He wasn't just a phantom, an idea. He was a reality. They saw when he walked on water. They saw when he fed 5,000 five loaves of bread. They saw him and the works he was doing. Thirdly, he says, we paid attention to him. We looked upon him. The early Christians uh, didn't just look at Jesus and say, oh, yeah, yeah, he's the Messiah. No, they examined him. They cross-examined what he said with the scriptures. They tried to find out if this is what the Old Testament prophets were talking about. And so everywhere he went, they examined him. They listened to his voice. They watched his actions. And they tried to fix whether this is truly who he said he was. They examined him. And number four, John says, we touched him. So what John is saying is that what we came to believe came through a process of examination. We heard, we saw, we critically analyzed, and we touched. We touched his body when he was alive. We touched his body when he was dead. We touched his body when he was resurrected. And we were convinced without any shadow of doubt, this is the Messiah. This is Christ the Lord. That is how the early disciples of Jesus came to faith. And that is what they began to preach. And that is where our faith also stands. We believe in an authentic Jesus, a real Jesus who was alive, who died, who physically resurrected and is ascended and he is coming again. That which was from the beginning is what we have also come to believe in. So if you are a Christian, you have a firm assurance that your faith is founded on solid, provable evidence, historical and real and spiritual at the same time. Well, that's how we begin our study of 1 John. We will be continuing tomorrow. Let's share a word of prayer. Say with me, Heavenly Father, draw me close to yourself. Help me to have a deep and authentic encounter with you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.